Alright, I guess we're doing another double header today talking about more Twin Peaks stuff. Uh, the Return episodes 5 and 6. I just finished watching episode 6 and can I just say for the record, episode 6, fuck. Jesus Christ, that was that was an episode. Um, and it was stuff that wasn't really related to the original cast that really got me holy shitting uh, in that one. Anyway, um, episode 5, I'm going to again get jumbled around here, but we have, we have Dougie, Cooper, I guess, Dougie Cooper going to work uh, for his, his first day on the job, kind of, in a lot, in a lot of ways. Uh, a lot of humour with uh, Cooper, not, you know, just, just the way he is and the way his brain got malfunctioned and wired the wrong way when he came through that electric socket in episode 3 or 4, whenever it was. Uh, I'm loving Naomi Watts as, uh, as uh, his wife, or Dougie's wife, I think that she's a really good actress and she's really good in the show. Uh, and it's nice to see that uh, the Twin Peaks tradition of, of bad actors has continued. There's been a few over episode 5 and 6 for me. There's um, uh, the, the new Sheriff Truman, Robert Forster's character. Uh, his wife, I just... Not a good actress, really not a good actress. And at the end of episode 6 we find out why she's so uptight, but I mean... Really not acting is not a strong suit, you know. I, I'm sorry. It just I, I really was was pulled completely out of the moment when when she started shouting and stuff. It just really didn't buy it. Uh, there's this creep who we first saw in the roadhouse, kind of getting frisky with some girls, paying off that that prick cop who I absolutely hated. But there's so many hateable characters in this new series, including this young kid uh, who's going to be doing some drug smuggling by the looks of it, or or something along those lines, drug trafficking. In episode 6 we saw him with, I guess, one of the, the bosses of this drug operation who flipped the coin into the air. And that guy who played him, holy shit. Uh, again, you talk about someone trying to act like a badass or trying to act like, like you know, he's, he's got all the, he's doing all the mannerisms and, you know, and it, it just, it just reeks of someone trying to act like a badass. And I just, uh, you know, too much, too much. I mean, it takes a skill to come off like that and, and have this kind of um, eccentric kind of uh, villain character without making it seem like you're just you're trying too hard. And it seemed like he was trying too hard. I just felt like I was looking at an actor, not a character. Really didn't like his him at all in the, in the episode. And then the the younger guy, uh, the one who was creeping on the girl. And again, I don't know names at this point. He, he's the one who ran that kid over and. Oh my god, it was just, it was horrific, so horrific, and, I, and it's, it, it really got built up to because Harry Dean Stanton returns to Twin Peaks, I was so happy to see him, you know, he was in the movie briefly, Firewalk With Me, so that was unexpected, I didn't know he was coming back, uh, I, I'm pretty sure he's playing the same character because he works in the trailer park and everything, uh, and there was a lovely scene with him just watching this mother and her son kind of just playing in the park, and just, there was such uh, a lovely warm feeling I got from that scene, seeing Harry Dean Stanton just smiling and you know just looking and probably thinking of you know better times in his life and then the kid gets run over by that that kid and I just oh man heartbreaking absolutely heartbreaking um Shelly apparently has a daughter uh played by Amanda what's in it like I thought it was just a, a friend but I, I was looking on Wikipedia to refresh myself in episode five so I didn't forget anything and it's her daughter so okay uh will we find out more about that I don't know um but Shelly's daughter seems to be going down the exact same route as Shelly and a bit of Laura as well, I think. I mean, she's got this young husband uh, driving in this, you know, this fancy sports car. They're doing cocaine. I mean, as soon as the cocaine came out, I thought, it's Laura Palmer all over again. And she seems like almost the prototypical Laura Palmer in her looks and everything. So uh, I'll be intrigued to see what, what happens with that character. Uh, we get to see Norma, which was really nice. And uh, more of, um, oh, what's his name, Jacoby. Uh, that that whole scene was crazy until he got to the end and and played the infomercial, uh, the the shit digging gold shovel. Like I just, <laughs> I I just thought the scene was really weird and and just I mean, Twin Peaks is weird, but I didn't get the point of it until that kind of infomercial graphic came up. You know, twenty nine ninety five. Like that just that I just I lost it at that, and the whole scene made so much more sense and was so much funnier once that came up, uh, and we got to see Jerry kind of smoking a doobie in the woods watching it on an iPad and Nadine I got to see Nadine again that was really I mean she I think Nadine more than anyone uh, so far that we've seen has really aged uh, quite gracefully I mean lots of stuff with in in Vegas and and uh, the bad Cooper in the prison on the phone making the, the things go haywire the cow jumped over the moon 
you know, I'm, I'm again really intrigued to see where, where it goes with that. I think, I think I haven't talked about this, um, we kind of got confirmation that uh, Killer Bob is still, he's still in play, he's still in the mix, he's still inside Bad Cooper. He looks in the mirror and he's like, okay, you're still with me. So that was really cool, that was a cool moment. Um, but yeah, that episode 6 with that kid getting killed, absolutely heartbreaking. I was just, I was just, you know... I was about as much of a mess as you can be without actually crying. Like it really affected me. Uh, and then that little, um, the, the the small man running in and murdering that woman with the knife. I mean, that was fucking brutal. I mean, whew, there's a lot going on. Um, and also, like Dougie's wedding ring got found in the corpse of that that uh, the corpse from one of the first episodes. I mean, there's there's so much going on. I really need to kind of pay attention. And holy shit, as well in episode six, Albert goes to find that woman they were talking about at the end of episode 4, Diane! We, we finally get to see Diane, and it's played by Laura Dern, like, holy shit. I, I kind of wish we'd never see Diane, to be honest with you, but I'm, I'm really uh, intrigued to see where they go with that, uh, again, plot line. And again, I'm just really glad we got this much of Albert you know, already, because again, I wasn't sure how much his involvement was going to be, considering that he passed away, but obviously that he filmed this a couple of years ago, so... <laughs> the thing he said, like, motherfucker Gene Kelly, when he got out of the car. I love Albert, so, uh, yeah, great to see him. Been some really funny moments, some really interesting. Like the beginning of episode six, very, like, painfully drawn out scene with Cooper, or Dougie, um, getting uh, kind of guided by the Black Lodge to uh, to do the insurance stuff, and it's very crude, but it makes sense. Uh, and that scene's very drawn out, but the music was incredible. I love they have the composer from the original series back. I love that kind of jazzy tune that they played over the insurance uh, case files scenes in the in episode six. Uh, and there's probably other stuff I'm forgetting, but uh, really enjoying the show still. I do think it, it takes its time a bit, a bit too much, but I'm, I'm such a big fan that I'm, I'm kind of enjoying being along for the ride and getting as much of, uh, out of this as possible. But there are some bad acting, uh, bad, acti bad, bad actors who give bad acting in the show that kind of throws it off a little bit for me. Not too much. Uh, oh, and also um, Becky's daughter's husband, the guy with the mustache on the... Wild ginger hair, don't like him either. I mean, he was in Get Out this year, and I just thought he again, he was just trying to be like Heath Ledger or something, like again, just trying too hard. He's he isn't too bad in this, but I'm really kind of hesitant to get on board with his acting because I just thought he he really just made a bit of a show of himself in Get Out. Like I just again didn't buy it, didn't buy it. There's just I don't know what it is. Uh, I, I seem to be a lot more critical of acting over the past few years, but uh, I guess the more films you watch, the more great acting you watch, the more the not so great acting stands out, I guess. I'm not too sure, but um, yeah. Oh, and uh, in episode five, they, uh, there was some kind of government meeting, uh, I think, at the Pentagon, and they say that the the print, the fingerprints, I think, on that corpse from one of the first episodes had the fingerprints of Garland Briggs, Major Briggs, and they say that this is the sixteenth time it's happened in 25 years. And then Bobby's talking about like Cooper was with my dad before he died. And it's like, holy shit, um, but I love that Major Briggs is a part of this as well. Because uh, again, he was one of my favorite characters from the original series, which you'll hear as my original series reviews come come, come onto, the, onto my channel. And, and they're live, and you see them, I've edited them, and they're out in the world, because again, this is going all topsy-turvy. I filmed my whole review of the first, you know, of the original Twin Peaks, you know, about a month ago now. Uh, so it's all out of whack, but... You'll, you'll know eventually that I became a big fan of Major Briggs' character, and so uh, getting to see it, uh, Don Davis's floating head in episode 3 was really cool, and, and then to have his name mentioned, but also this mystery around him. Uh, and he, he, he did seem kind of um, just kind of spiritually linked to a lot of stuff in that original Twin Peaks series, so uh, again, very intrigued to see where it goes. Uh, and that seems to be like the the word. But in the original series reviews, I, my, my kind of go-to word was interested. I'm interested to see where this goes. This this one, I'm intrigued to, to see where it goes. So, yeah, um, probably more I could go into, like I said, but I'll leave it there for now. I'll do an episode 7 video, and then I'll do a live reaction to episode 8. So watch this space. Uh, let me know your thoughts on episode 5 and 6 down below, or anything about the new series or the old series. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> it's alright by me <laughs> Apart from the fact he throws cans of Carlin into a tree <laughs> Yeah, he's really cool Yeah, he's really cool <laughs> But he's not quite as cool as you cause...